Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving the volume of a rectangular prism. What is a routine problem? A routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? A non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. This is our first problem. A stock room is 10 meters long, 6 meters wide, and 8 meters high. How many cubic meters of space is in the stock room? Our first example is a routine problem. How are we going to solve this problem? Yes, you are right. We are going to use the four-step plan. First, we are going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, in this problem, it is asking for the amount of space inside the stack room. Next, we should know what are the given facts. So, the given facts in this problem are 10 meters long, 6 meters wide, and 8 meters high. After we understand the problem, what is the next step? Very good! The next step is we're going to make a plan. Under planning, we should consider this question. What strategy should be used to solve the problem? In this problem, we're going to solve for the volume of the stack room. But what is the shape of the stack room? It is said that it is 10 meters long, 6 meters wide, and 8 meters high. Alright, it is a rectangular prism. So, what is the formula in solving the volume of a rectangular prism? Yes, you are right. Volume is equal to length times width times height. Alright, we have already a plan. What is the next step? Very good. The next step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. We're going to use this formula. Volume is equal to length times width times height. The length is 10 meters. The width is 6 meters and the height is 8 meters. So, let's find the product. 10 meters times 6 meters is equal to 60 square meters times 8 meters. The volume is 480 cubic meters. Therefore, 480 cubic meters is the amount of space of the stack room. After we solve the problem, the last step is we're going to check. In checking, go back to your computation, check if the given dimensions are properly substituted to the formula. Also, check the flow of the computation. This is our second problem. To relieve her stress from work, Joanne would always watch the fishes move around in her 100 centimeters long, 50 centimeters wide, and 80 centimeters high aquarium. If the aquarium is filled halfway through its height, how much volume of water is in it? The second example is a non-routine problem. We can use an illustration to analyze the problem, then solve. 
This is an aquarium with the following dimensions. The length is 100 centimeters, the width is 50 centimeters, and height of 80 centimeters. How are we going to get the volume of the water inside the aquarium? To solve this problem, first is we're going to get the volume. We can use 40 centimeters as height because the aquarium is filled halfway through its height. So let's solve. We're going to use this formula. Volume is equal to length times width times height. The length is 100 centimeters, the width is 50 centimeters, and a height of 40 centimeters. Why is it 40 centimeters? It is because the aquarium is filled with water halfway through its height. So 40 is one half of 80. Let's find the product. 100 centimeters times 50 centimeters is equal to 5,000 square centimeters times 40 centimeters the volume is equal to 200,000 cubic centimeters we have another solution how are we going to get the volume we're going to use this formula again length times width times height the length is 100 centimeters the width is 50 centimeters and a height of 80 centimeters. Let's multiply. 100 centimeters times 50 centimeters is equal to 5,000 square centimeters. Times 80 centimeters, the volume is equal to 400,000 cubic centimeters. Then, we're going to divide it by 2. 400,000 cubic centimeters divided by 2 the volume of the water is 200,000 cubic centimeters. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.